Manager to lose his job this season. Morris Malpaz has left Swindon. Malpaz was in charge for 10 months at the county ground. Swindon is 17th in League One and lost to non-league Histon in the FA Cup last weekend. I had a long discussion with uh, Morris yesterday. We both agreed to go away and uh, sleep on it. Um, and then came back uh, this morning first thing and decided that the best, uh, the, the best way forward was for him to, uh, to leave the club. Have you had any applications so far? Uh, inevitably, yes. Um, uh, we've had the unofficial applications of people who turned up here uh, before Morris uh, left, and uh, we've had um, no, we, we've had a, a couple. But um, that's what you would expect. I mean, uh, there's there's kind of no uh, uh, there's, there's not much love lost in football. Um, there are managers out there who are looking for jobs. Uh, of course, one of the big issues is that the, the manager that you're looking for may not apply, and um, uh, because he may either be in a job or he just may think you want to come to him. ...with manager Morris Malpass after just 10 months in the job. The decision came from the chairman this morning after an awful week for the club in which they were knocked out of the Johnston Paint Trophy and worse, lost to conference club Histon in the first round of this season's FA Cup. It may be a surprise, but I think there's been a bit of pressure building uh, on Morris. But um, the key thing is that we had agreed some objectives um, for uh, the season and that included um, a certain moderate amount of success in some cups. Uh, and so really, I think Morris was, uh, was, was undone by the result at, uh, at Histon and um, the result on Wednesday night. And I think if he'd carried the league form through into those games, um, we wouldn't be having this conversation now. Um, but, you know, we've been erratic and that's been one of the problems. Well, Morris Malpas, seen by many as a dour Scot, was not much liked by too many of the supporters. The ones I spoke to today certainly were not upset to see him go. About time. <laughs> well, you're not a big fan of his? No, I've never been a fan. I didn't even want him to be mentioned in the first place. He had to do something. Something's not right there. About time. Good, about time. Not a fan? No. What was he doing wrong? Just no experience. One good enough, was he? And that was it. We need results, and uh, every time he, he put a squad on, we just didn't seem to get the results. They didn't play as a team. So the question now is who will be the latest to take what is not so much a hot seat at the county ground, but more like an electric chair? Many would like John Ward or another former Cheltenham manager, Steve Cottle, or A.D. Boothroyd, who left Watford last week. He's a possible. Former Bristol Rovers player and manager Ian Holloway is looking for a return to management and lives in North Wiltshire. But he seems to have upset Andrew Fitton by being seen at a Swindon game recently. Uh, the chairman also seemed to be reluctant to select from Swindon's great days of the Premier League with someone like Martin Ling at Orient or the uh, youth team coach Paul Bowden. Well, there's some big news at Swindon today. Manager Morris Malpass has left the club by mutual consent. The decision was announced by the club this morning. Town had a poor start to the season, but this week's shock FA Cup exit to non-league Histon, followed by defeat in the Johnstons Paint Trophy, signalled the end for Malpass after just 11 months in charge of the club. It may be a surprise, but I think there's been a bit of pressure building uh, on Morris. But um, the key thing is that we had agreed some objectives um, for uh, the season, and that included um, a certain moderate amount of success in some cups. Uh, and so, really, I think Morris was, uh, was, was undone by the result at, uh, at Histon and um, the result on Wednesday night. And I think if he'd carried the league form through into those games, um, we wouldn't be having this conversation now. Fans seem happy with the decision. Never been a fan. I didn't even want him to be mentioned in the first place. He had to do something. Something's not right there. Just no experience. One good enough, was he? And that was it. The board of Swindon Town Football Club has begun the search for a new manager. Morris Malpass has been sacked after just 10 months in the job. The club's now drawing up a short list of candidates. In the meantime, assistant manager David Byrne is in charge. One name being mentioned as a permanent replacement is former Bristol Rovers boss Ian Holloway. As David Passmore reports, most fans have welcomed today's news. Absolute brilliant. Uh, Malpass is, um, hasn't done much since he's been here. The players don't seem to play for him. Very pleased. Uh, it's about time. Uh, hasn't looked like he's going to do anything from the time he's been here right to now. I suppose when you really, really think about past results, then I suppose it was something which was waiting to happen. The rumours have been um, circulating. This morning, uh, the board confirmed uh, it. Morris Malpass was out, 
and the chairman said that as yet they had no particular replacement in mind. And there's no car about to speak up outside and uh, Harry Redknapp's not about to walk up the stairs. Maurice Malpass arrived at a good time. He was appointed by a new chairman who had brought financial stability to the club after decades of crises and frequent threats of closure. But his record didn't match expectations. There were just 13 wins from his 42 games in charge. Swindon are now 17th in League One, and they were knocked out of both the FA Cup and the Johnson's Paint Trophy in the last week. We, we set some objectives at the beginning of the season, and um, nobody was setting an objective to win the Cup or anything like that. But if you're a League One club, you have an expectation that you might get to the third round, and if you're lucky, you might get to the fourth round. Um, you know, look at Bristol Rovers last year, for instance. And um, so, when you get knocked out in the first round, it's it's pretty tough, uh, and it's tough financially too, because these these cups do are important from a cash point of view to the to football clubs. Former Bristol Rovers manager Ian Holloway has made no secret of wanting to return to management. And John Ward, who recently parted company with Carlisle, may be keen for another spell in the West after stints at Bristol City, Bristol Rovers and Cheltenham. One certainty tonight is that the assistant manager, David Byrne, is in charge for tomorrow's game, a small matter of a clash with league leaders Leicester. David Passmore, BBC Points West.